for more on Mayor Bloomberg's uh, campaign spending, let's bring in our guest. Joining us now, Kevin Sheiky, Mike uh, Bloomberg's 2020 campaign uh, manager. And, and everyone has talked all along, uh, Kevin, that, that when you've got that much money and the will possibly to, to, uh, to use that, that it's going to be a game changer. And I'll, I'll tell you, I've been surprised looking at Predict It and looking at some of the numbers. And uh, I know we're waiting till Super Tuesday, but he's ahead of a lot of people already on Predict It, which is where, I mean, it's thinly traded still at this point, but that's what I follow more, more than polls. He's moving up. I love that to what you're following. Uh, listen, I think Mike Bloomberg will be, build the best, broadest possible campaign. And I think at this moment, he's the only person who can actually beat Donald Trump in November. Might be true. And, and listen, part of that is I think uh, the Trump campaign is incredibly strong. I think it's stronger than most people know. It's new Washington Post poll out today just to talk about how strong he is in the head-to-head -head nationally. But where he's really strong, and you talked about this, uh, is in digital, right? He has built a campaign which is probably running a decade ahead of anyone else on the Democratic side to meet voters where they are. And they're very smart about it, right? They're not just investing broadly. They're investing in swing voters and base voters and battleground states, while Democrats are in Iowa focusing on a state that ultimately Trump's going to win. Let me ask you a question. Do you believe that voters are ultimately rational actors mm -hmm. insofar as they say to themselves, who can beat Trump, meaning if the, the, this is the Democratic base, as opposed to this is who I want. So you're looking at also some of the polls showing obviously that Bernie Sanders has right. gone on a nice little run here. Mm -hmm. And so the question is, but on a head-to-head -head basis, it gets more complicated. Yeah. Do you think the voters says to themselves, you know what, I really like Bernie over here. Uh, this is the guy I really want, but actually I don't think he can win, so I'm going to go for... Does that, you think that's actually no the, the, yeah, the mental no math that actually people do? Listen, you can't generalize all voters, but the most important issue for Democratic voters is removing the president. Right. Now, there are certainly voters who believe that Bernie Sanders has to be president and that he ultimately can beat President Trump. I don't think the but polls Bernie, show that. Bernie Sanders is almost in a different party than Mayor Bloomberg. Outside of an election year, he is in a different party. Uh, Bernie Sanders switches into the Democratic Party for presidential races. Otherwise, he's a Democratic Socialist. Kevin, are, are you counting on a, a brokered convention or, or some... No, I think Mike can win. Um, I do? think there are chances that you could have a brokered convention. Uh, but the way that primaries are You think are stacked, millennials, woke millennials that hate billionaires are going to vote for a billionaire? I think, listen, I don't think that any candidate has 100% of the primary open to them. So I'm not going to tell you that 100% of the Democratic primary But in a general election, I just, the, the energy in the Democratic Party, the AOC wing or, or whatever, it seems to be on people like so, Bernie. So I, mean, get, I, I mean, I'm shocked yeah, at Bernie. So, Bernie's now, I'm predicted, right. is, is well above Biden. Yep. So I don't understand. So I, skip you know, forward to November. I'm ready for anything. Here's what you need to recognize. We yeah. don't have a national election. At the end of the day, this election is going to be fought in six states in November. It's going to be Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Michigan, North Carolina, Florida, and Arizona. That's it. Right. What, vote, what voters does Mike get that other voters don't get, doesn't get? He gets independent voters. He gets voters who Trump won in those states right. by probably 12 points when he beat Hillary Clinton in the last election. And those are votes that Mike can win. And to your point, Andrew, I think, I think voters will come to realize that if the most important thing is removing the president and putting in a rational actor right. who could be president of the United States, then I think Mike Bloomberg well, wins. Let me ask you a separate question, though. Right, and well. this was actually, and I don't know if there are lessons in Davos or not to be had, but given where the stock market is today, given the way the economy is chugging along, it, even those people who dislike the style points of Trump, and maybe even more than just the style points of Trump, whether you think they ultimately just vote with their wallet. I can't tell you how many people I ran into, and I know Davos is his <laughs> own strange bubble, people who historically have said the nastiest things about Donald Trump as an individual, about his character, all sorts of things like this. But then they say, but you know what, Andrew? It's actually kind of working. Yeah, so here's, here's the little secret. Davos is not a leading indicator of what actually happens yeah, in the presidential can, elections. But if you can I know we'd like to think it was. I can, heard it. I'm, no, sure no, it was no. great, I'm sure it was a great week. That's, that's not the I'm point. Sure, I'm sure it was a great not, week last that, week. No, no, but, but here's what. But let's talk about the point. It's a bastion of liberalism in Davos. You think for a minute that those people who whispered to you, and if you whispered back, but yeah, what do you think about Mike Bloomberg? That they wouldn't say, yeah, yeah, I would support Mike as president. Let's be honest. Here's what business wants more than anything else, and I appreciate where the job numbers are. But what business wants is predictability. What business wants is rational behavior. Mm -hmm. What bu business wants is a set of rules that they know that they can follow. What business wants is a, is a businessman that can actually increase the economy without the chaos that's been brought. Right. Does anyone think for a minute 
that if you gave Donald Trump control of New York City the day after 9-11, as Mike Bloomberg assumed oh. in 12 years, that this city would be the By city the way, it is I today? By the way, I think head-to-head, if you, if head-to-head in a national election, if you just had the business community vote, you're probably right. However, interestingly, and I don't know when this is supposed to happen, do you think that you're going to try to get business leaders, to the extent you think they matter, um, to actually endorse... Oh, I think they'll matter a lot. Mayor Bloomberg. Yeah, listen, I think that business leaders who talk about the importance of business in this country and what that means are going to be incredibly important in the general election. I just... He's got 90-plus percent, or even if it's 80-plus with Republicans... So some of them might shift to Mike Bloomberg, yeah. but I worry you about... You know they're a Democratic business leader. Well, I, I, I mean, worry you, about... You know that, right? Yeah, but I worry about the, the real heart and soul of the Democratic Party is not where Mike Bloomberg... Is. I can't and tell you he, how... he apologized for stopping frisk. Is he going to apologize to me for big gulps? For, for trying to, to, to cut you down... You take a pound or two off. I don't know. If you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's not from that. We'll I don't... On that. I, I, we'll only on do, that. Uh, we'll I only do... I only do... Public uh, health is important to sugar, I only do sugar-free, so... Right, okay. Well, but I can't get 18-ounce really? sugar-free really? either. Really? So, tell me, yeah, explain so that you, to me. You have to go into a movie theater and get a soda this big? No, That's but I don't want someone you? telling me I can't. If that is your number one issue, you're... That's a pretty... Well, that's not. We're going to have to got some other ones. All I know are climate change, guns, and big gulps. That's what he stands for as far as I'm concerned, so... Well, listen, I, listen, Mike Bloomberg is a big believer that climate change is... I know. He thinks it's an existential threat. Well, we have, he, he, he surveys it from it, his who, private jet. He who looks does, at all, does the, it, who all the hot it. spots yeah, in yeah. the... Yeah, so Mike Bloomberg the flies around Bermuda. and has closed down 302 yeah. coal plants in this country out of 598 through, a, through a, a campaign that he's led. And yes, if you want to breathe the air that coal plants produce... That ruin our environment and sicken our kids. Well, yeah, now on. you're complaining. Kevin, you're conflating particulate no, pollution no, no. with CO2. No, no. You can breathe no, the air. No, no, 0.04% no, CO2 can, is fine. We can bring scientists in to show you the correlation. Right. Okay. President right. Trump made the point on Twitter that that Bloomberg is playing a game of poker. That he's only saying he will spend money on behalf of, let's say, if it's another candidate, in order for the other candidates to be nice to Bloomberg. Is Bloomberg prepared to spend up to a billion or more on Biden? or Sanders right. or Warren if they that. are the candidate. Hey, listen, what Mike said is that he... Or is it a game of poker? What Mike said is that he thinks that this country needs to go in a new direction, that Trump is a dangerous president and that he needs to be removed, and that he had to get off the sidelines because he felt he had the best chance of actually winning that election. But regardless, the goal is the same. I actually think at this point that Mike Bloomberg is probably the only candidate who in a general election... No, they're different can, goals. Can, they're can different goals. The one is, the vote, one is so elect for, and Bloomberg, so right, and the other is de-elect And so for right now, we are focusing oh, on the last Bloomberg guy wouldn't let anyone my talk guess, either. My is guess is, is, my guess is that in November, we okay. get we right. get Joe's vote. No. That's, That's my guess. You won't get my vote. No, no, I like big To the voter out there that says that he's disqualified simply because he's a billionaire, and I can't tell you how many people I've spoken to who say that, what do you say to them? I say that Mike Bloomberg was a man whose father never made more than $6,000 a year, who worked himself through college, who was fired, started his own business, incredibly successful. And if you think about the people you have on this show, who is more admirable? Someone who has started from nothing and literally lived the American dream. Who, for your audience, is a greater role model than that?